up guys it's chachi power here to do a review on the uh, midside voltron uh, i've been wanting to do this review for a while uh, just came in today so uh, let's take a look front of the box looks like a standard lion bot the lower side of the box has some cool graphics This is the right side and the left side. Here's the top, this really cool uh, illustration here. This is where the handle is, but it still has the little cover on it. Oops, well, fell off. You can see the handles right there. And the rest of the LionBot graphics there. Here's the inside with the cover off. Proudly displays all the lions. It's even got miniature weapons. Inside the lions are encased in styrofoam. Here's the yellow lion next to his uh, full-size die-cast counterpart. The center weapon piece right here goes up just like the full-size. Uh, the ears do not open up but the mouth does. You can see right there. Here's the blue line next to the full-size one. I'm going to show you guys uh, the feet sections of the lion bot, which are the blue and yellow line. Um, just like the bigger ones, the bodies are all die cast right here. Exactly like the full size die cast. Uh, the mouth is open. On the blue lion, uh, this head piece here and this piece on the top uh, are non functional. This does not go up, neither does this. Here's the red line. And yes, it features rocket punch. Here's the green lion. If you notice here, there's no number three, like that one. It actually does have a little number three sticker, but it fell off uh, as I was taken out of the box. The arm sections for this mini line bot um, have a couple differences from their full size. Number one, obviously this doesn't bend here. The little elbow joints. Um, the trim rings right behind her head, they are gold plated on this. And their tails are molded in white. Other than that, the... Uh, Bodies are molded entirely a die cast, just like the full size die cast. Last but not least, we have the black line. You can see the molding is very, very similar to the full size. It's basically a exact rendition, just smaller. And notice here, he has a little green spot here, like the newer Voltrons. The legs are all chrome on the mini. The bottom half of his lion is die cast just like his big brother. Here he is next to his big brother. Since he reaches halfway up, you can see why he gets the uh, mid sides nickname. You'll notice the ears don't fold out. They're actually molded into the head. Also, the face is not separate from the jaw. It's one piece. And here he is with the plastic midsize, which I reviewed in another uh, video of mine. Even though they're the same size, they actually did mold the ears into this. 
but not on the mini diecast version. Here he is from behind. You'll see the leg isn't connected very well here. It's not uh, the fault of the toy. I just didn't want to force it in to mess up the chrome. This is the chrome sword and the shield it comes with, which is molded just like the big one, except smaller. Here you can take a look at how deep the styrofoam is on this. Now a couple of things, there are no shooting weapons on this figure. Uh, this is real chrome instead of a sticker here. The front chest plate area. Uh, there's stickers on the side, but it's painted right here in the center. Here you can see the leg locking mechanisms are identical to the larger version. And so are the arm connectors. I don't know if it's very clear here, but right here where I'm pointing, the legs are hollow on the lion on the lines that form the legs. I don't know if it's immediately evident there, but they are hollow. You'll also notice this is uh, molded in white instead of red. There on the leg you can see the little detents for the ratcheting action. For the leg lines there's also ratcheting on the legs, just like the full size. Except this little shoulder area, when you move this head you'll notice they don't sink into the body as they do on the full size. Also, the smaller version does not shoot missiles, but like I showed you before, this does go up. It does not tilt though. The head here, you'll see that the face is part of the jaw. And here you'll see that the ears do not pull out. They're just molded onto the head. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, if you're a Voltron fan, definitely do it. Till next time, I'll be back soon with more reviews.